My experience as an online crisis supporter is totally different from the experience that I had as a crisis supporter on the phone. Um, I find that we're reaching a totally different demographic and the way that technology has moved and the, the way that youngsters communicate these days, it's an ideal medium for them to get in touch. And also the fact that we're faceless on chat, so youngsters are more inclined to talk to us because there's not that sort of, oh, they'll judge me because they're, they're older or things like that. Uh, this is my field. This is, I'm very young. I'm very internet savvy. I, this is something that I enjoy doing. And I find that helping people online is completely different to helping them on the, on the, on the phones because um, there's quite a lot of young people and it's very direct from the very beginning. It's definitely rewarding being able to listen to people that may not be heard otherwise and that people that may not be able to pick up the phone call the 13140 phone number. It's definitely an innovative way to connect to people. People that are concerned about suicide, modern suicide or self injury, domestic violence, child sexual abuse and, and the list goes on really. When, when somebody comes online and is in crisis or they actually want to kill themselves, I allow them to open up and tell me their story. They are the, they are the ones who own the story. And so by listening to them, I'm actually learning and, and understanding how I can support them. And in return, they are able to open up and actually find their own strength and be able to find the answer to help themselves. And even just hearing a thank you or someone has changed or they're somewhat positive or you know even if it's been a, a really long day I just feel like at least I've made I might have made a difference in someone's life you know even for a 40 about five minute chat and I do love being that shoulder that people can cry on. You can really see the shift you, can, you go through the whole model and you hear their pain and things like that and then when you, you see the shift in them from coming on in a highly agitated state, extremely upset, they're really in a dark place, they're having immediate thoughts of suicide and then towards the end of the call, even if you've just got them to a stage of being less distressed, the fact that they've been heard and they've been supported and they've got a safety plan in place to get them through the night. I would really love to thank the MLC Community Foundation for all that they've done and for giving us the opportunity to do what we do. I really want to thank the MLC Community Foundation for their funding. It has allowed us to reach out to many more Australians in crisis today. I'd really like to thank the MLC Community Foundation for allowing us to reach the young Australians and making this possible.